Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10 or the same three gentlemen. Both of them are fantastic deals and they help support the show. What is up? Planeswalker Steric 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering. I'm recording even more um, in this same outfit because I am pre-recording because I'll be away for holidays. And I want to make sure all of you still get some nice videos. Uh, today we're playing the winning deck from the Zendikar Rising Championship. Uh, this was done by Brad Barclay, uh, defeating uh, Autumn Lily on... Or no. But, yeah. Autumn Burchett uh, on Goblins. I don't remember if their, their name was Autumn Lily or not. I, I, my brain is fried. Um, but yeah, they, they beat Goblins, and this is the only reason... Uh, like, I, I don't love this deck, I'm not going to lie. I'm sure a lot of you aren't going to love this either. Um, because many of you will remember the terror of uh, Teferi Winter, essentially. Um, boop, and boop. But I loathe Goblins, so... I was rooting. I was rooting for uh, the game to just like continue to crash, so that they like had to force draw, so that none of the decks won, but each player got to like tie or something. I don't know. I, just, I hate goblins. So, so I'm very glad uh, that Brad was the winner. That's not true. Technically, technically, I, I, I would have not minded whoever won. Uh, I'm just happy that goblins lost. <laughs> goblins, dude. I hate them. I hate them so much. I killed them. Not just the men, but the women and children, too. I slaughtered them. Like animals. Not this map. It's full of sand. It's coarse. Rough. Irritating. It gets everywhere. Alright. So go ahead and keep this. Uh, I did change up to a uh, little JC boy. Sarah sent it. Alright. Go ahead and play this attempt. And uh, obviously, the deck is, uh, as I've said for many of these uh, Zodokar Championships deck lists, uh, I've not modified uh, the deck in any way, uh, and these decks were built primarily to um, to deal with a specific metagame, uh, which... Interesting. This is going to be painful too. Four, they're going to be up to 25, this is going to be 30, yikes. I think I just need to get to a um, Wrath of God soon, so I think I'm just gonna cycle this. Um, yeah, like this is this is built for a particular uh, format. Definitely, end is helpful. I guess I definitely end this. Play this tapped. I guess I should have cycled. Yeah, I should. So that was that was a greedy play last turn. Uh, instead of cycling this, I should have cycled uh, Shark Typhoon. Because if I had, um, you know, two mana thing to do, then on this turn I'd be able to two mana thing plus cycle. So. Okay, I don't love this. Um, I have lost. Boop, boop. Boop. Uh, boop. Mm. Ooh, wait. I don't need this. I don't need those. I should double check what I don't need. Okay. So yeah, I definitely don't need those. Do I want to bring in Disdainful Stroke? And bring in the Sample Stroke, a single Shark Typhoon, and a Narset. I think that's fine. Sure. Let us go with that. This this card, the the Sahili, wasn't drawn or uh, illustrated, I should say, with the intention of it becoming an uh, an avatar on this game. The fact that Wizards has not made more avatars for this game is ridiculous. Wizards, this is where you should be putting your money. Okay, this and this is much better. Uh, do I want to just hold up sensor? No, I can baffling end, I suppose. I don't know how much I'm supposed to value getting my search down early. 
do I do just have baffling end. <laughs> I, I, I I did technically mean to do this. I I'm so used to pressing the end turn button. Whatever. Technically didn't want to do that, but I'm garbage. Because now we just have like one mana wasted. Well, I guess we would have had one mana wasted. This, whatever, doesn't matter. So this turn we baffling end whatever they play. And we just hold up the sample stroke. Too loud in my ears. There we go. Okay. So we have an essence got to. And we can start uh, just holding up Castle Lardenville. Um. Dance for me, Puppet Jays. Dance for me. Hmm, what's happening? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. War of War? Shoshana? No, I just want, like, gas. I didn't get gas. Wait, that came out wrong. Unlike the gas. <laughs> what is the card left in hand? No. I just realized I'm on top of a pyramid. My opponent has a smaller pyramid. Although from their perspective, it's a larger pyramid. Uh, yeah, I mean, library. Here we see, I mean, sure. I don't, I don't know if I was supposed to counter that. I don't think I was. I guess they have Kazlar build tokens as well. I mean, this gives me more dudes. Sure. I, I don't know if this is correct. Uh, not attack here. This is not on cast right now. Three! Damn it. Okay, that is, um... That is bad. That is definitely bad. That one and... Not very. I'm gonna get rid of this. We can, we can take this damage a little bit. But we cannot really have them continuing to <laughs> gain angels. I guess maybe I was supposed to counter that? I don't know, dude. I'll just keep these soldiers on the ground. They'll make a token. That's fine. We have the ability to flip this. We should be fine. You should. Hopefully. Maybe. Perhaps. The Wheel of Wild Magic! There we go. Transform. Another Absorb is always nice. Cool. So we have double up Absorbs. Can I cast both? I can. I can cast both Absorbs. Um, I have uh, an Active Arden Veil that I don't technically need right now, but I do have an Active Escanto, which can allow me to get things like, I don't know, a Wrath of God to yeet this into the stratosphere. What is... Does this uh, Ajani say again? 
15 more life. Yikes. Uh, okay, so I need my opponent not to gain three more life. That gets rid of enchantments, right? No, just artifact and creatures. All right. For some reason, I thought it was enchantments and creatures. Hmm. I don't. I don't know why it's artifacts. Um. I'll take a shark typhoon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not going to play it yet. I might just cycle it. Although I kind of doubt that I will. All of this is fine. I want really should just like shouldn't cast anything. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Was I saying so? I don't know. I feel like this deck just plays itself. I'll answer some. I'll answer some, some Discord questions. Um, Basier asks, "What's your favorite mechanic in Magic? Um, for example, Monarch, Infect, Energy, etc." Um. I believe that, I'm not going to be able to say my exact favorite. Um, I really like the five power mechanic, if, if you count that, um, from Alara. I like the idea of the four plus power mechanic from uh, Tarkir. The only issue is that it kind of like takes a little bit from the five plus power mechanic. So Mile doesn't get as much cool stuff. Um, Monarch is fantastic. Uh, if you play EDH... Put, put more mana cards in your decks because it, it just makes the game a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Devotion, Devotion's a ton of fun. When Constellation's great when done properly. <laughs> he said, obviously, stewing about something. Uh, mine, I, this isn't technically a mechanic. Well, maybe, I don't know. Minus one, minus one counters just are so underutilized and it really bugs me. Um, do we search for his Kanta here? Seeing our mana right now, I think I do want to search for his Kanta here. We don't have a ton going on just yet, so I think I'm fine doing this. This goes up to 25, this goes to be 27. Uh, I'm gonna graveyard that because I don't have the mana, I don't like lands. That's nice to see. I will just get rid of this. I, d I don't want to deal with angels. Although, although, I realize, dumbass, that I have Wrath of God. There was no reason for me to do that. That was dumb. Yeah, no, I should have absolutely just held up Absorb. What am I doing? God. This is this is why I am not a Zendikar champion. Uh, yeah, it's minus one, minus one counters. Like, plus one, plus one counters get printed all the time. This is fine. Uh, plus one, plus one counters get printed all the time. And there's just, like, no love for negative counters. They're printed so infrequently. Um, and I th one of the big reasons is because Wizards like refuse refuses to have the complexity of having plus one plus one counters and minus one minus one counters um, in, in the same, uh, like not just set, but like even kind of in the same standard environment. So it's just really annoying because I, I, I absolutely love minus counters. Plus one counter, sure, they're fine, but I feel like there's so much more interest that you can have uh, with minus counters. Is this three or less? Hell yeah, dude. Great. I would love another land so I can play this and hold up an absorb. Uh, that's fine. I can play this and hold up a an essence scatter, which can hit most things. If they play a if they play in a Johnny, that's fine. I, I am able to just uh, cast it out on my following turn. Although I might just um, cycle the cast out here if they don't play a creature. Splash in the water. Hey, look, that's a creature. Goodbye. Uh, library. And now we're sitting, we're sitting pretty. Well, I'm not pretty, but, you know, the phrasing and all that. So, 
We win. Hey, Hub, I, I don't know what's wrong with your deck checker right now. We ranked up. Cool. As we go into game match two, I'd like to take this moment to uh, ask, please, for you to uh, like, comment, and subscribe on this video. All that stuff really, really helps support the show. It means I can buy Christmas presents for my family. Psych! I don't, I'm not, I don't like presents. Moodstuff? This is not, this isn't Mudstuff, right? There's no way. I, I, I don't like presents. I, I'm not a big fan of surprises. I don't know. So, so the reason, this is, this is kind of uh, what describes my, my view on uh, presents and gifts in general. Um, it's like, if I want something, if I want something, I'll buy it. If I haven't bought it for myself, the value it has does not, does not um, exceed the value of having um, liquid funds, right? It, it doesn't exceed the value that I give to having whatever it is that that costs available in the case that something happens, in the case where I need the money. If I do want it, if it does exceed that, then I will purchase it. All right, so it's very difficult uh, for me to like, not, I understand gifts, but it's like, I don't get it. I'm not, I'm not insane, right? Like, like I get the sentiment of it. Uh, sure. Maybe I should have got rid of sensor. I should have got rid of sensor actually. No, mm, no. If I top deck a blue source, then sensor is actually still fine. Whereas if I top deck a blue source with a uh, Teferi, it still takes a while. So here we can planes possibly cycle cast that. Or we're still waiting on our opponent to uh, decide their mulligans, I guess. Oh wait, no, it's their. Wait. But uh, wait, what? Did they did mulligan, right? What's happening? Okay, I don't understand what's happening. That's fine. Uh, I, I, I just, I just don't get it, bro. Okay, well, we're gonna play this. I need, uh, I need Jace to bless me with his dance. Thank you, little Jace boy. Next time we planes, hold up sensor. Paradise Druid, all right. So this Wrath of God looking decent, potentially. What is happening? Why are you playing so many colorless lands? What's that? What deck is this? Playing Solemn? Bant? Okay. I am probably going to be cycling Shark Typhoon here. Okay, they did What? What? Oh, it's 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 four color it's four color simic, of course. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna Wrath of God here. Is that two for one worth it? I think so. Two for seven. Yeah, I feel like that is worth it. I'm gonna keep cast out. So I don't need to use this yet. I do just Wrath of God here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because they could theoretically play an Ugin here. And that would just be annoying. They could still play a Nissa. Now they play a Golos. I... I could just cast that out, but I think I would rather to fairy. This is this is five colors. I'm known for my excellence. I'm not ready for you quite yet. Uh, Anissa here would be very annoying. Nothing makes sense to me anymore. Let's 
skip to the good part. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I could cast this. Am I worried about... Am I worried about them going off this turn? No. Fr frankly, I'm not. And I love the idea of getting this down early. Wogan comes in on seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing this. Might be wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with a, uh... Oops. Oop. Oop. I'm gonna hit him with a, uh... Happy Dance. Lady of Murder? Sure. Sure. I'm gonna blow up one of my lands. That's fine. Go grab another island. Doesn't really take me off of anything. So I'm not entirely sure why they did it. Keep up the pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's a distinct possibility that I get Ugand here. I can't Ardenvale. Just an Earl? That's fine. He can't do that, that's fine. I uh, don't need another Teferi or land. Crafter's cage. I like that. Let's skip to the good part. Don't mind that either. We'll go ahead and play Cage. Cage! Locked in perpetual motion. Carving the old wide open. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I know I can't say. Uh, so yeah, they can't use these arrows anymore. They got uh, one cared in hand. The untapped ease. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, look. It's Ulmog. To hit those. Okay. That is fine. I can bounce that. Nope, stop it. Mm. I already have a, a shark typhoon. Okay, that is helpful. They still get the cast trigger, but uh, Reverse. I think that's fine. One, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, No fun with this. Whew, okay. Yep, so here comes the Ergo. Take it draw. Karn. Huh. Face 
I assume they're gonna get a. Uh... That is not what I thought they would get. I am gonna counter this. against men hone your prowess. I have let my friends down. Mind and body should move the means with thoughtfulness before action. Okay, you can still exile two of my things, but I get to absorb it. I assume it's gonna hit my planeswalkers. Hmm, only hits one of my planeswalkers, that's fine. They're not gonna be able to draw with Uro, so I get to kill Uro if they decide to attack with it. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Yep, I do not care about that at all. Although, did I just give up lethal? That was nine. I think I just gave up lethal, lethal like a dumbass. I have just the trick for this. Cool. Ooh, okay. One of the decks that we are looking to deal with. Definitely want that. Uh, I don't know if I want this. Man, I don't know if I want... Like, I don't know what exactly I want. Okay, what, what don't I want? <laughs> don't eat Gust. I'm going second. So I think sensor is slightly worse. Baffling End, they're... I mean, Baffling End, like, does hit things. Chuck this... And have Dovin's video in there? Maybe I get rid of one baffling end. I thought I took out the sensors already. I can bring in I can I mean I can just try and bring in more counter spells. I, I don't know. I do not know how to properly sideboard for this matchup. Fun fact, I did not actually watch the Zendikar Rising Championships. I'm not interested in watching a bunch of Saltai. Uh, no.
I saw it, don't worry, chat. I almost uh did a stupid. Although I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Uh yeah, we hold up sensor here. That results. I'm not letting that resolve. Hmm. I'm sleeping. So yeah, sorry. I'm I'm, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to figure out. <coughs> If it's worth absorbing this. I don't think it is, but I'm gonna cycle this. Okay, that's fine. This was very helpful. But... I feel like I do just want to cycle it here. I might need to cast out one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought that was a misplay. I'm not sure why. It just felt like one. Okay, have another absorb. I don't like that. Cave is nice, I suppose. Right, so now I can start making Ardenville tokens if I need to. Cage. I mean, they might have just taken out their uh, their arrows. I don't understand like how the fact that the mana base of this deck works is disgusting. Like, this is just ridiculous, right? <laughs> I'm gonna try and get value out of the shark tornado. Shark typhoon. Yeah, that's fine. I advise you may regret that choice. I'm gonna give you a thriving grotto. For it might be better to get a Mm, nah, I, I, if I knew I was going to draw the board wipe, then I'd give him the play mirror. But I don't know that, so I can't. They can hit me for four here, they didn't. Not entirely sure why. 
another Graph Digger's Cage is pretty garbo. Uh, do I want to activate this now? Yeah, I do. They do know I have a cast out. Uh, I just can't pay life for sacrifice. That's fine. I don't think I have anything like that in here. Getting more for their mana though. More for their berry mana though. I don't like playing control deck without black. <laughs> Interesting. Awaken. I find that very interesting. Do I just cast out Karn? Do I want to give them a, another card? I don't need to cast out Karn, dum dum. None of his stuff is reach. Let's cast this out. Block this. Kill Karn. Maybe we should hit this, actually. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be blocking at 18. I don't know. There's a lot of things maybe I shouldn't be doing. I must die. Now, you must die. Alright, do you have a, a big boy Ulamog? I don't know if this deck is playing big Ugin. I do have an Ulamog. I'm gonna cycle this for zero. I need to make sure that this gets done correctly. I think game two is a loss, everybody. Okay. Don't close the coffin yet. I'm alive. I'm not ready for you quite yet. And it's homecoming. Can you remember? When there was no one in for the second little block. Okay. I would love a Wrath of God. I can technically find a counter for this. But my my Teferi is dead. Oh, am I stupid? Oh, I can't actually find a counter for this. One, two, three, five triangle. Well, I assume they just kill my shark here. There's no reason to kill anything else. How they, they maybe should just plus here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I think that's a correct decision. Um, they get to attack everyone at uh, Teferi. Teferi will die. Hondor red percent. Yeah, I was about to say you have to attack everything there. Uh, so it's better for me to do this. There's nothing I can do at instant speed, no. Pass the blocks. Kill us, I guess. Now what? Seem to have to do with that next turn. Uh, okay. Okay. 
No, we're. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not dead yet. Is the issue. Okay, that helps. Okay. So I can actually attack Ugin here. Yeah. Caution. I assume they're going to hit my cage and my uh Ascanta. Really? I'm kind of surprised by that. I mean I guess it makes sense. Like, I still have to hit Wrath of God here. And even then, it's still not great, because, like, my opponent will still have a ton more mana and a ton more cards. Secrets and I'll be at, uh, what, two? Before you. Okay, two, four, six, eight, twelve. If I block like this, I'm taking ten. Did I take somebody with me? Yeah. Okay, now what I need. I really need a board wipe here. Oh, I'm dead. Fudge. Do they see it, though? Do they remember the fact that they have a, a creature land? Do they remember the fact that they have a creature land? Yeah, they do. Do they mess up the activation? They did not. Darn. Darn. Yeah. Oh, that's a yucks. Okay. This game is nuts. I have no idea. I, I'm still I'm still befuddled. By the fact that this is like an operable deck. Operational, I guess, is technically the, the correct phrasing there. I need you to not do this to me, game. Get a ramp. By that I mean, can I can I get a land? So bonus as well. I have to draw land here. Oh yes. Okay. Do they land into a four metal flange walker? Nope. They saw him. I'm fine with that. for a break. Okay. I have action against a decent amount here. You're not going to win this. I 
farm is going to get vetoed. Do like an absorb. You know what? I'm not done. I get to untap two things. This at least keeps my Teferi alive. And I should be able to counter. Yeah, I'll be able to counter literally anything, so I actually think I do want to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two cards left. Barrister is fine. I can wrap this board and be fine about it. Keep up the pace. They get a draw card, but I think I'm fine with that. Okay. I can't play this as a win right now. Two, three. They have eight, two. No. Uh, we are going to... I think I want to be mana efficient here. And use Disdainful Stroke plus... Cycle the Farmland. Okay. Yes! Yes! Even though I won, I did not like that. I did not like playing that. Like, playing as the control deck, like, that's fine, but playing against that deck wasn't- was just not fun. <laughs> Ugh, I feel- I feel bad. Let's talk about the deck, shall we? So this is the- this is the winning deck list, um... By Brad Barclay, if I recall correctly. Um, I mean, you can you can really see uh, some of the obvious things about uh, the main the main deck, right? We're, we're main decking to Graph Trigger's Cage, uh, and that that just goes to show you how prevalent both Uro and Muxus were for this tournament, and how much uh, Brad recognized that this would be the case. Um, the Graph Trigger's Cage just helps against those decks, and being able to have a better game one against them uh, means that um, if you're able to secure that game one. Uh, it means that you have a little bit more leeway, obviously, going into um, the the rest of the match. Uh, I find it so important to win that first. Winning that first game is so important, not only because obviously it makes it easier for you to not just lose, right? If you if you lose the second game, but also there's there's kind of a morale thing to it, right? Um, if I recall correctly, uh, I think I think Brad went completely undefeated. I'm not I'm not entirely sure about that, but I think that's the case. But you know, there, there is a sense of morale there where if you can win game one, you have a bit of the cushion so that you can you can relax a little and you're not under as much pressure, especially from, from a high uh, a high end tournament, right? Um, so being able to shore up um, some stuff that you know is going to be there in uh, game one is, I think, very important. All right, we got three baffling ends, uh, exile stuff. It, it's very interesting that this is still, like, played, right? Baffling end has been um, on and off the the... Uh, two mana removal of choice uh, for for these decks for a while, you know, since since before, I think since before. No, it was right after Dominaria. Like as soon as we got to Fairy Hero of Dominaria, um, is is all I can is as far back as I can go in my memory. Uh, it's just generally helpful. It can get rid of a decent array of things, right? Three three CMC is is a good spot, um, and you know if if the field isn't going to be enchantment heavy you can relatively you can be relatively sure that uh there's not going to be a lot of enchantment removal so the downside of this card is essentially non-existent uh the aether gust there's goblins if you're going to get to goblins you want to make sure that you're able to just get rid of something um even if it's for a single turn uh being able to delay losing for a single turn is very important um i think there was still a little bit of gruel as well in the tournament so helps there uh, sensors. Oh, there was four sensors main deck. Okay, I'm just stupid, apparently. Um, you get to cycle. And and we see we have four cast outs and four sensors, like, oh, and, and four shark typhoons. This is essentially an Azorius cycle deck, right? Um, it, you know, it doesn't have big cycle payoffs, but the fact that we have 12 cards in the deck, 
oh, excuse me, 16 cards in the deck, which can cycle, is very important. Uh, being able to recognize, hey, I have four mana here, my opponent is playing something, I have X amount of counter spells left in the deck. This sensor is not going to cut it. Uh, this cast out, not going to cut it. So I can go ahead and cycle one of these to try and get, uh, you know, that absorb or that disdainful stroke or from the sideboard, uh, that essence scatter, right? Uh, being able to do that is very important and they're still useful, right? Sensor is still a very useful uh, card in the early turns of the game when people are going to be playing as mana efficiently as possible. And typically when you're playing as mana efficiently as possible, that means you're using all of your mana. And if you're using all of your mana, you can't pay for sensor. Um, bro, oh, I would love to see mana tithe. I would love to see Mana Tithe get uh, printed into Historic. I don't, even, I don't even know if it'd be good, but mm, I would love to get people with Mana Tithe. Anyway, Disdainful Stroke. Pl plenty of annoying things are at uh, 4 CMC+. Plus. Uh, you obviously have the Sharns, the Karns, the Karns, the um, the Ulamogs, the Ugins, the other Ugins, right? You have all of these things. Um, the Muxes, the, Muxes, the uh, other the other Goblin in that deck. Krenko, um, this is generally, generally helpful. Searcher's Kenta, holy crap, there's only one of these? <laughs> Searcher's Kenta is great in uh, control matchups, which I guess is why uh, this this deck only runs one. Uh, if you're not expecting a lot of other control, and I don't think there was much control um, at the rest of the tournament, uh, then you don't need as many Searcher's Kentas. That said, Searcher's Kenta is, the, the, the first Searcher's Kenta is great, right? You love to have a, an early as Kenta. Drawing Ascanta late can be fine. Drawing a second Ascanta early is atrocious. Um, typically, if you have an Ascanta, you hopefully won't be drawing a second Ascanta, but I can understand why this is only one of. Two main deck Narsets uh, helps against uh, Uros, which is super prevalent, but uh, otherwise it's just helpful at getting extra card advantage. Four Absorbs, it's a counter spell that gains you life. What's not to love? It's a hard counter that gains you life. Very fantastic. Four cast outs we talked about a little, but the fact that this is a flash... Um, all-encompassing removal spell is great. Uh, you saw against the Ulamog. Uh, how, U U U U Ugin and Ulamog are so annoying for me to try and parse. Um, you saw there with the Ulamog that uh, it can pose risks, so you do need to make sure you are appropriately evaluating what target you're you're hitting with their cast outs um, because this can be removed. Wrath of God. It's Wrath of God. Man, I wish we had a black version. Oh well, that card doesn't exist. Teferi. I, I was hoping this came up, but it like actually didn't. Uh, I have one of these. Um, this this card version is for being a part of the closed beta. There was a limited window where you could craft these um, with wild cards. It was this, um, Vraska, Ral, that might be it. But this was essentially before card styles were really a thing. Right? This is before like, they had a lot of card styles. There's there's no reason this shouldn't be a card style. Really. Like technically it's from a different set. Like technically this is a this is an arena thing. But like it's so annoying that I didn't realize like at the time that having this card operates differently to every other card. Right? I I can't I can't craft this anymore. <laughs> I have five Teferis in my collection. It's weird, <laughs> but whatever. It, it didn't come up. I'm not going to talk about it too much here. But yeah, Teferi is very helpful. Drawing a card and untapping, being able to uh, hold up counter spells while uh, getting card advantage, obviously very important. The minus three um, help, like even against uh, an, an Ulamog, where it got, it got some of its value, right? And arguably some of the best of its value, exiling two of your things. Um, it can still give you enough time to build up a, a good enough defense that even them getting two cast triggers, exiling four of your permanents, um, is, is very helpful. You never see the minus eight. If you do, you win the game. Like, bar none. Uh, Shark Typhoon. It pumps out sharks. You can cycle for it for, for zero, X equals zero, and it can help you get to the things you need, or you can just play it and have sharks. And when you have sharks, you got good sharks. The mana base is pretty, pretty uh, easy to understand. We've got uh, two Ventresses and three Ardenvales. My assumption is that Ardenvale was more important because uh, you might need the blockers more often than you will need the card advantage, as I said. Um, or not even card advantage, card selection. Uh, and I think that is just based on the fact that there is going to be less uh, control uh, showed up at that tournament. Um, if, if you're going against 
fewer things you need blockers for and more things where you just need to maintain the top of your deck. I think that you, you switch this. Uh, additional Baffling End, you got a Seal Away, has Flash, which is great, um, can hit things that are bigger, but whatever. Uh, extra Sandstone Stroke, Essence Scatter, it just counters creatures, which is great. Those Veto, it counters non-creature spells. I feel like so many decks right now are playing so many, like, such a such a mix. <coughs> Excuse me, usually I mute for that, but uh, I messed up. Anyway, uh, but if it's just like so many powerful, just like dumb things uh, being around right now, it's difficult. Talent reinforcements, it is very helpful. It gains you six life and you get three blockers. It's essentially what it does. Also, the token art. Mystical Dispute, it's Mystical Dispute. Uh, it helps you counter blue spells. If your opponents are playing four colors, though, it's kind of difficult for you to, like, justify siding this in. Two more Narsets against decks that draw a lot. Shadow of the Sky against creature decks. Whew, I, 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 this is, like, the third or fourth video I've recorded. The fourth video I've recorded today. But I still feel like I'm exhausted, not because I've recorded so many, but because of of that uh, that that deck. <laughs> anyway. I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Fogwin, Malik, and Balatare for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support in the show, you'll find links in the... Uh, oh, my voice is going, I can feel it. Uh, links in the description below. Ooh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And of course, until next time, all will be one.